hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about one of the concept of the vs code called multi root workspace through which we will handle multiple projects of the al uh, through one window and publish them to the business central environment via one command only right so to start with that of course uh, you must have to first open up the vs code and then uh, you have to go to the file and click on this option called add folder to the workspace so when you click add folder to the workspace the idea is that uh, for example if uh, your al project is already in your in your uh, machine or in some uh, repository like github or uh, devops through which you can clone the project and directly uh, open it in the vs code so there are certain l projects which i have already developed in the past and they were available in my devops as well so their repository is available in my machine so i can open and add that folder in my vs code directly so for example uh, let me first add this project called uh let's say allow in customization okay so select that folder and click on add so once you do that it will start adding uh, all the files you can see here right and your complete project is available with all the files now the the second step is that as you can see here it is currently written untitled workspace so we have to give certain name to my workspace so i can click on save workspace as let's say uh, go digit test okay so click on save now this is my workspace and here it this workspace have one al project called allow in customization right so which have of course all the source files in it and everything now the second thing is that as i mentioned that uh, through uh, through this workspace concept or i could say multi root workspace concept we can handle multiple l projects so to do that we can again add add one more project via add folder to workspace option and this time let me add blob media test and now you can see my second project successfully gets uh, added to this workspace so my one workspace currently having two l projects right now let me add one more l project by clicking on add folder to workspace and this time i select my third project which is auto format right so now uh, this is the one out there okay so afterwards uh, for example if your repository if your l project does not have uh, the launch.json although in my project already is having a separate uh, launch.json available okay each folder have its own launch adjacent but uh, they all are pointing towards the same business central environments so i'm not deleting them otherwise uh, like if you really want to handle this launch adjacent uh, at a universal level like uh, you don't want to go away from uh, within your particular project so for that you can go to the settings and here you can type launch okay and when you type here you can see that at the user level you can add it in settings.json and add your launch.json right publish to your cloud sandbox or publish to your on prem like this way right so at user level you can do so at workspace level also you can do so so based on uh, like if you want to handle multiple projects 
via one business central environment so of course rather than having us uh, multiple launch or json file in each projects uh, you can maintain your launch or json at the workspace level right so you just have to click on this and just like i told you earlier you just have to select this option and that's it right so via this way we can handle the launch rotation part okay so right now uh, i my project already having the launch rotation so i am not going to delete them and uh, now i'll tell you one more thing uh, for example uh, if you can see because these all projects are from my uh, devops level so you can see that at vs code uh, vs code is intelligent enough to handle each uh, project changes separately and you can push all your changes accordingly to your uh, repository global repository right so for example you can see that this is uh, my one project this is my second project and this is my third project and i am having this uh, source control option available for each l project right so i can maintain for each repository separately so you don't have to uh, worry about that thing so this is one of the part uh, one of the productivity uh, one of the best option which increase your productivity where uh, you want to always move here and there within your uh, within the multiple vs code instances for your multiple air projects right so rather than doing that you can create a workspace and add uh, multiple uh, l projects in your one window one screen okay so now after you are doing this stuff uh, the second thing is that how i can publish all these apps in one go through just one command to my business central environment okay so let's learn that second thing so for example now you can see that uh, like i have three options three projects basically and i'll show you the app.json this is my first app auto format which does not have any dependencies right it is completely blank it does not uh, it has no relation to the other two projects now if i open this uh, blob media test and click on this app.json here you can see that this project this app is dependent on my auto format expression which is this one right so this uh, blob media test is this uh, app based on or depend on this auto format okay so i can publish blob media test only when the auto format is already published in my environment now if you see this allow in customization and select this app.json you can see that this app is depend on blob media like this project second one okay so you can see that it's a it's a kind of a chain where blob media test is based on auto format a uh, depend on auto format and then allow in customization is depend on blob media test so in case let's say i want to publish this one first then for that i have to publish this one first and to publish this i need this generally in app uh, in al world we handle uh, multiple apps via dependency section where if uh, our apps are related to each other so we use this dependency section and via that first we publish that app which does not depend on anyone then second app then third app and so on right so the idea is that uh, when you are using this multi root workspace concept in the vs code you, you can not only held and handle your project but you can also publish all of them together right so how we can do that so because now we know the relation between uh, these three projects so what you have to do is that you have to go to the project which is okay first of all yes uh, let me build the project this is my first one i'll build it and let's build the second one and let's build the third one 
okay so now i already have all my files uh, app file available in each project now you have to open your uh, like here i am opening auto format which does not depend on anyone okay so what uh, in order to publish your multiple applications together you have to open that project from where the chain actually starts right so for example for uh, for uh, like my requirement is i want to publish allow in customization but that needs blob media test and if i publish blob media test test that needs auto format okay so i know this is my last step which i have to install manually uh, before i have to install these one so what i have to do is that i will open my last step only okay and you can like for example if i select app.json i know that this is this depends on blob media which is this so from here from here you have to open your project and from here you have to press f1 and then you can find this command called publish full dependency tree for the active project right so now if you read this statement you get an idea that why i open my allow in customization project because i have to make that project active from where the basically tree starts the dependency tree starts right so that's why i open this project and i am currently in this particular project only which is the active one and then i can click on this publish full dependency tree for active project so once you click it now you see that it starts uh, preparing to publish three projects in the following order so first it will publish auto format expression then the blob media and then my uh, third project right this is the l project 24 allow in customization right so it is publishing in this order only because this depends on blob media and blob media depends on auto format so to successfully publish everything first auto format needs to go then blob media needs to go and then this allow in customization needs to go so you can see here that it is following that particular order only one two three and it will publish one by one and once it publish everything you will see at the end done publishing the full dependency tree so it's not like that it will open the business central environment and then you will see and every stuff because you are publishing multiple apps together via just one command so you will receive this message that done publishing the full dependency tree if you receive this message then you can assume that system the vs code successfully published all your projects uh, to your business central environment right so to check that what we can do is that we can open the business central environment and i'll refresh my environment because it was opened up a uh, few hours back so let me do that and then we will see in the extension management whether my applications are there or not so if you go to the extension management so here you can see that uh, my final project which is l project 24 or, or allow in customization is installed auto format expression is installed blob media is installed auto format does not depend on anyone blob media uh, depends on auto format and l project 24 depends on blob media so this was a sequence and they all three applications are successfully published to my environment and i have not done anything extra by opening the three different instances of vs code and handling multiple l projects in a separate window i have handled everything in my one window and published them together so that was the you can say that it kind of a tip which i wanted to share with all of you 
so that's all in the today's video if you like it request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video